welcome to First Responder Day 2. I am your den leader, Paula Brandt, for PAC 3009. Today we will cover requirements 2, 3, and 4. Have a pencil ready and your worksheet. Remember to email me your worksheet when you're done. Remember you can also pause the video at any time to get supplies or to write answers in your worksheet. Let's recite the Scout Oath together. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Scout Law. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Now the Outdoor Code. Turn to page 530. I'm pretty sure we don't have this memorized. As an American, I will do my best to be clean in my outdoor manners, be careful with fire, be considerate in the outdoors, and be conservation-minded. Leave no trace. Know before you go. Choose the right path. Tra trash your trash. Leave what you find. Be careful with fire. Respect wildlife and be kind to other visitors. What does first aid really mean? Well, first aid is what you do first to aid someone during an emergency. Let's put together a first aid kit and go over the possible uses of each item. Turn to page 74. First thing you need in a first aid kit is a band-aid. Antiseptic wipes are good for killing germs. Gauze pads are good to put on extremely bleeding parts of the body. You put it on the wound and then you need something to wrap around it. Like a band-aid. Like a band-aid or you can have the elastic bandages where it would start here and you wrap it around. You can also use a cloth or a bandana. Very hard to do this with one hand. It's also good to have an ice pack so you can stop swelling and it's also good to take a sponge Put water on it, put it in a plastic bag, put it in the freezer. That would be a nice ice pack. It's also good to have a set of nail trimmers or some scissors. You might be able to cut some fabric to use as a bandage. You also need gloves so that you don't touch blood or any dirty stuff that might have germs on it. What happened to my fingers? When you put gloves on, make sure your fingers are all the way in and there's no holes or cracks or tears in the glove. When you take the glove off, pull gently on the wrist and slide it off. You can also use tweezers. Do not use these on bee stingers or you'll squeeze the venom back into the person's body. I can't get this sprinkle off of this stuffed animal. One thing you can do if you don't have a mask and you feel like you're going to get dust in your face or you don't want to breathe in smoke, you can use a bandana. Now turn to page 56 of your We Below book and fill out important phone numbers. I want to see that page next time we meet. Now let's go over the three C's. Check, call, and care. Turn to page 57 of your We Below's book. When dealing with hurry cases, remember the three C's. Next, I want you to read pages 58 through 66 and answer the questions on your worksheet. Take your time and do your best. Remember, a scout is brave, strong, calm, clear, and helpful. And the three C's are check, call, and care. Memorize the three C's because next time there's going to be an open book quiz. Let's circle up. Let's pretend that we're holding hands. May the great master of all scouts be with us until we meet again. Dismissed.